welcome to MR TV. I am Maria, and today I don't even know what I'm making, y'all. I have some leftover hamburger in the refrigerator. I have some cabbage. So I'm about to try something different with these two combinations, and I don't know what. But I'm locked in. Can't go nowhere. So I'm just coming up with all type of stuff, y'all. <laughs> but so I'm going to brown this up, brown this meat up. Here go all the ingredients, parsley, garlic powder, onion powder with the um, white and green onions with parsley, season all, black pepper. And you can't never go wrong with the onion lifting soup mix. Never. Okay? Never. <laughs> So, I'm going to get this going here. I think I'm going to wait on this. I'm not going to put that in right now. I'm going to wait for the cabbage with that. But I'm going to add this garlic powder. Powder, how is everybody's day going? I hope it is going well. Y'all know I always wish y'all a good day. Prosperity. Happiness, drama free, <laughs> all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not too much, you don't need all of that. Now, let me get my pepper in. Mm -hmm. Little pepper, little pepper. I love pepper. All right. Get this browned up. And then we're going to move over and get the cabbage. I am going to make some mustard fish. Y'all know I had that mustard chicken. A uh, couple videos ago. Go check that out. So I'm doing some mustard fish since I like that mustard chicken so good. I said, let me do some. My husband was like, you wanna, you gonna put the mustard on it? I was like, okay. So we're gonna do the mustard fish. I got some corn on the cob because that was in the refrigerator. So cabbage, fried mustard fish, corn on the cob. That's what's for dinner. So I'll be back once and this is done and we're on the next step. Okay, the hamburger is done. I'm going to go ahead on and get this bacon going. And you know you can't have cabbage without bacon at all. Y'all hear talking in the background. I got two playlist running right now multitasking running playlists making videos that's the life of a youtuber isn't it content creator whatever you want to call us <laughs> okay so i'm gonna let this cook and i'll be back oh yeah that bacon Ooh, y'all already know what it smell like in here with this bacon going I just had to bring y'all back to see this bacon. Yeah, I know how I do. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time to get this bacon turned into bacon bits. You know you can't have cabbage without bacon. That's a no-no. See here. Let's see here. I got gidges and gadgets, but I don't know. Hold on, let me get it together. I'll be back. Back. The quickest way to get bacon bits from real bacon.
Look at that. Bacon bits. All right. Time to get this cabbage sliced up. Hmm. Did something else just drop? You know, I've been dropping stuff all day in this kitchen, and I don't know why, but hey. I got to keep going. So I'm going to finish shredding up the cabbage. And I'll meet you at the stove. Alrighty. Time to get our cabbage in here. Right in that same pot we had that bacon in. Because you know you want the taste from that bacon in there. The bacon, I add a little bit of bacon grease in there. Black pepper. You can't have too much pepper, but I guess you can. <laughs> I'm putting the same seasonings that I use for my hamburger meat. Okay. Make sure it's nicely coated with seasoning. A little bit of this here season on. Once this cabbage, you know cabbage ain't nothing but water anyway. So we're going to get this nicely fried up. And I'll be back. Going. I didn't want to cook it all the way because I wanted to add the hamburger meat and let I added some um, frozen three pepper blend. Ain't nobody cutting up no peppers today. Not today. But look, it's looking good. Smelling good. So I hope they turn out good. I put a little bit of chicken broth down up in there just a smidge so you can see it. The chicken broth. Give it a little added flavor. Let me see. See that? Those peppers. Mmm. Y'all know this is smelling good. Mm -hmm. Now, I've added peas and carrots. And I tasted my broth down here, and it tastes real good. But I got the peas and carrots idea from Adrian's Cooking and Food Review. This ain't his cabbage. I just got the part about putting the peas and carrots in there. Mm -mm, I don't want to take his cabbage recipe. But he did give me the idea to put the peas and carrots in there because I had never done that before. Looks good though, doesn't it? Look at that. Look at all that color and flavor. All that color and flavor. I don't know, y'all. I think I done came up with something. <laughs> okay, when we get back, we'll be ready for the catfish. Okay, I had to come in. I'm going to add just a little bit of this tomato paste. To give it a little extra flavor. The tomato paste around up in there. Let it get its flavors and juices going. And I know that's going to be good. Let's 
just a little close up for you guys to see. You know I love to get y'all those close ups. How everything looks. Alrighty. That'll be it for that. Alrighty, everybody. We are at the fish. Now, I already done mixed my cornmeal with my cornstarch and all my seasonings in here in this bag already. So that's done. I did that with y'all. I got my fish here. Then I'm going to have to get my mustard. But I'm going to make sure this fish got all this water. It looked like I see some more water in here and I thought I had patted it dry. But I'm going to get a little bit drier and I'll be back. Put that butter right on top. Then I like to put a little parsley on mine. Give it a little cuteness. You know, we put parsley in everything else. That is my butter. Alrighty. Mm, it's going to marinate in that butter. with the mustard and then you just gonna mix it up in there real good let me tell you after that mustard chicken i'm mustard all the way mustard pork chops next mustard ribs <laughs> but i seen mo from St. mo oh my gosh he made some fried mustard fish and shrimp and oh my gosh that was so good that's where I got the mustard fish from, from Mo, when I seen him do his mustard fish and shrimp that turned out excellent. Okay. So we're just going to get these, douse them right in there. I put plenty of seasoning in my uh, cornmeal mixture, so I don't need any more seasoning other than that. Okay. And then I'm just going to mix this all up. And I'll meet y'all over when I finish getting this nice and battered over at the stove. Always want to make sure that grease is hot when you're fixing fish, or else you're gonna have a mess. Let it cook. Don't bother it. Don't be trying to move it around. Right off the bat, let it cook for a few minutes so that cornmeal can adhere to that fish. You get to moving it around before it's time, and it's going to be a mess. So just let it cook. All righty. Here we go. Always put them on a rack so they won't get soggy. right there and I know it's crispy I put that cornstarch in there don't play around don't play around put it on this rack mm -hmm. put it on that rack so it don't get soft on the other side and stay crispy when I come back we plating it up Bacon right here on 
the top. Oh, a little bit more bacon. Can't go wrong with the bacon, can you? Okay, that's enough. Okay. Okay, okay. Now, look at that cabbage right there. I don't know what I can do concoct it. Let me add a little pepper. Just a little. All right. And there we have it. Whatever concoction this is with the cabbage. Okay. Look at that. I had to get y'all up close on that. Look at that. Look at those seasonings. Ooh, wee. All righty, I just had to do the cabbage by itself first. Oh yeah, oh yeah, mm -hmm. oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at the fish. Let me get y'all a little closer. missing though what's missing y'all <laughs> that's what's missing you can't have cabbage without the cornbread that's a must that's just that you gotta have that cornbread look at that bon appetit Thank you so much for watching MRTV. I am Maria. If you have not connected with me on Instagram, please do so at ReeseCup underscore 2019, R-E-E-S-E-C-U-P underscore 2019. If you like what you've seen here today, please feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. Get us one a thumbs up comment please i would love to hear comments on this meal on this cabbage share me out share me out share me out y'all have a blessed one peace